Hey everybody, it's Gamer on your back with Skies of Arcadia Legends. Last time we found out a little bit of backstory behind uh, Ramirez, and we also found out some backstory about Piastel, which was very cool. And uh, now we're actually going to head to Crescent Isle, finally. It's been like three episodes since we were actually supposed to be doing that, so yeah. <laughs> boy oh boy, how I can waste some time, right? Oh boy. But on the plus side, we've pretty much done all of the side things we need to do. So now we're just going to push the story forward some more. That's always fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> I always lose track of where this freaking pocket is. Oh, and hey, uh, the, um, the builder dude that I forgot the name of. Is Ismail or something? <laughs> he's he's probably done with our base by now. It's been ugh, a freaking long time. I hope he's done. So that should be sweet. Um. Okay. You right over here? Oh, there it is. I notice you now. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> Hello, Chris and Isle. How you doing? Definitely looks different. <laughs> Vice, Chris and Isle is straight ahead. No. Yep, that's Chris and Isle, all right. But it looks different. If we reach Crescent Isle by flying east from Yafatoma, that means Yay! we sailed around the world. The world is round. Could have told you that. <laughs> Until now, no one knew what lay beyond the end of the world, and it was commonly thought to be a long, turbulent drop into nothingness. But after the Blue Rogue Vice returned from his voyage around the world, it became known as that the world was round. Sweet. Hey Vice, how does it feel to have sailed around the world with your very own ship? Um... I want to see more. I want to see more. I don't think I'll be happy until I see the whole world. I know there's more out there. Not much. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> to think that we just made it home and Vice is already talking about sailing some more. How typical of him. Hey, hey. What are you talking about, typical? What do you mean? Wow, look at that. Look at that. He really went to town. Pun intended. Ah, uh, uh, that was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, our flag and everything, man. Love it. Love it. it. Looks like there's some new buildings that weren't there before. Yeah, there was no buildings there. Ismail probably built them while we were gone, with the money we gave him. I wonder what Crescent Isle looks like now. Hurry up and land, Vice. Alright, I can't wait to check it out. So let's go all the way to the right. <laughs> oh wow, we have a whole underground thing going on. Sweet. I mean, is my Welcome home! Well, how do you like what we've done with the place? I have to say, I'm really impressed with your work. Ba-bam! ba, -bam. ba, -ba -bam. What did you expect from the greatest builder that ever lived? If you keep the gold coming in, I'll keep adding on. I've been busy too. I made new armor plating for the Delphinus' hull. It's super sturdy. After all, add it onto your ship, you'll be able to fly through those pesky stone reefs without a hitch. Thank you both for everything you've done for us. I'd like you both to join my crew on board the Delphinus. That reminds me, I got this while we were in Yavatoma. Can you do anything with it? Well, shiver me timbers! I've never seen this type of technology before in my life. 
With this type of engine, you'll be able to fly higher than the clouds and lower than you ever imagined. I'll get started on this baby in a jiffy! Vice, we should figure out what we're gonna do next. I knew someone would say that. That's why I built a meeting room into the wall of the cliff. You can do all your planning from there. You built us a meeting room? Wow, you're great, Ismail. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Book of Polarity to Brabham. I don't think he's ever been this excited. Yeah, he's pretty excited. <laughs> Sweet, we got an engineer and a builder. Sweet, and I can hear a moonfish. Where are you, you demon? Where? Down below. Thank you. Okay. And, uh, actually we can talk to this girl, too. Nice to meet you. You're Captain Vice, right? Captain Claire has ordered me to come aboard the Delphinus and train with your crew so I can become a better gunner. Oh, and my friends Lily and Nara are coming with me. I hope you don't mind. We're a team. We take care of your cannons. We're gonna knock those balloons out of the sky. Sure, and your name is... Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I mean, I didn't forget my name. I just forgot to tell you. I wouldn't forget my name. That would be silly. I'm Bell. I don't have much experience with cannons, but I'll try my best. Well, you seem enthusiastic enough. I'll give you a chance, and we'll see how you do. Yes, sir. I'll do my best, sir. Dude, she has no experience with cannons, and you're gonna just take... Oh. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Well, doesn't our other gunner really isn't that good either. I mean, I, well, you know, blast away. I don't care. I don't care. So she increases secondary cannon damage, and Kazim increases main cannons. Uh, I'm just gonna stick with Kazim, I think. Sorry, Bell. Wow, we're only missing one crew member. That's amazing. Okay, let's check these uh, other two. Ismail increases destructive power of Moonstone Cannon. Oh my god, that's so much better than hers. Replenishes ship's HP to full. Yeah, uh... Whew. Moonstone Cannon stronger? Oh yeah. And, uh... Do, 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 what am I looking for? Brabham? Increases ship's defense or magic defense? Yeah, because that's a toss-up. <laughs> I really don't know. Let's go with defense. Yeah. I mean, we have quite a bit of magic defense. I don't really know if they're... can't really compare those side to side anyway. Um, yeah, we're only missing one artisan, and then we got our entire crew. Wow. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. So... Yeah. Oh my god, just look at this. Look at this place, man. You can see our ship and how, <laughs> how freaking enormous it is. That is the best scale you're gonna get, I think. Right there. Jeez, man. Or like... Maybe the height of one of those cannons, I don't know. No, maybe not. Maybe a little taller. Hey, Brabham! Okay, so... You can actually go around this whole island. And, um... There's a Cham back here. And talk to all your crewmates. Which is pretty cool. Um... I don't really want to do that right now. I don't know if you guys want to see that. They just... I don't know. Might be interesting, but... It's just, uh... Could take a while. Look at that! Look at that heart symbol on the wall there. That was on Clara's ship. I don't know why that's here. <laughs> it's kind of strange. In fact, I don't even know why Clara's gunners were here. That's kind of strange, too. Oh, yeah, and look here. You can see, like top view. Whoa. Sweet. Oh my god, it's that cave that had nothing in it. Now oh, it's huge and it has things in it. <laughs> Hello, Osman. Greetings. I have a plethora of items for you and your crew. A plethora, huh? That sounds like a lot of good stuff. Oh. Yeah, she sells a bunch of uh, magic boxes. Which is pretty cool, I guess. I don't really want anything, but, uh, whatever. This shop is a little dull for my taste. 
I want a bigger shop. A shop that's more better befitting of a merchant as grand as myself. I'll need 2,000 gold to remodel this place. Okay. Thank you, Captain. You've got great taste. I'll use my looks to try to scare up a few new items. Your looks? Oh, Lord. Good luck. <laughs> Ooh, and here's the... Ryukin. Whoops! Wow, I didn't even read it. Oh, well. So he sells weapons. And look, his first weapon is already better than what we have. So I'm gonna take it now that we don't need the Siren and Siren Blade anymore. And yeah, man, he's got upgrades for all sorts of stuff. Uh, Enrique. Hmm, that's pretty good. I'm gonna get that for Fina too, actually. And okay. Holy moly. Uh get this for Fina. Well yeah. Yeah. That constitution gem actually prevents all status ailments, which is pretty darn good. Um, whatever. Captain, I'm a little tired right now. My youth is escaping me. If you return later when my strength returns, I shall forge you a blade worthy of legends. Oh, that sounds really good. <laughs> his eyebrows. A warrior who neglects his weapons is living on borrowed time. That's a good, good motto there. Wow, look at all these weapons. He's so cool. Alright, let's finally go outside. Oh my god, all the trees are gone! Well, most of them. Hey. That old Ismail really is something. I just watched him... Just watching him makes me want to start building things for you. So how about it? It will cost you some gold, but I guarantee you a job well done. I can't just sit here while Ismail has all the fun. Sure. Now we're getting somewhere. Which building do you want me to remodel? Oh god, I don't know. Honestly, I don't remember this too much. Like, I don't know if this would actually benefit us in any way. I'm sure it will, but I don't know how. Uh, we're gonna go with Khalifa's 10, I guess. So you want me to remodel Khalifa's tent? It's gonna cost a thousand gold to do that. Are you sure you want to go through with it? Yep. Okay, leave it to me. I'll make her a nicer tent. Maybe she'll actually start giving us some useful information. Dude, cur Ugh. She's always useful. I don't know what you're talking about. See, look at her go. Wow, she's a very small tent. <laughs> Welcome. Heed my words and the future will be known. Okay. Very well, let us begin. Hmm. Ah! Yes, yes, I see something. On Pirate Isle, the little girl named Lindsay. Oh no, she will be playing on the dock and, and... And she's going to get a splinter in her finger. The Red Moon has spoken. Remember it always has... It always and the... Remember it always and the way will be clear to you. Dude, okay, maybe she isn't that useful. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Maybe we should save Lindsay from getting that splinter. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, we can go in here and talk to more people, but meh. 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 Not a big deal. I think there's a cham up here, actually. There it is. Booyah. Booyah. Egg Fu Young. Actually, let's talk to Moigi, since she's outside. <laughs> Hello. This is a very beautiful island that you found, Vice. This pond reminds me of home. It's relaxing. I wish that I could sit here like this forever. Uh, Enrique, move in, man! Separate yourself from my single corpse and talk to her, please. That's what he should do. 
Gonzalez, I found the treasure that you were looking for. But to be honest, it wasn't what either of us was expecting. Very true. Well, how do you know? Maybe he was expecting a friendship. <laughs> so anyway, the, the meeting room is up here. Get a nice overview of the island. Oh my god. Tika Tika, what are you doing? Hey Captain, did you know you can see the entire island from up here? Nothing to report today. Well, except for the fact that Ismail ate Brabham's lunch when he wasn't looking. Good. <laughs> He's like a superhero, man. Keeping watch over... Crescent Isle, day and night. All right, Moonfish, I'm gonna find you, buddy. There you are. So yeah, there's two Moonfish and two Chams on our island, which is pretty sweet. Okay, let's finally meet about this stuff. Hmm. It's still hard for me to believe that Ismail turned this deserted island into a base. Um. Vice, Eka, Enrique. Thank you for everything you've done. So far we've managed to get three of the moon crystals. <laughs> Why did I say that so weirdly? <laughs> Ugh. I never would have thought... Or I never would have made it this far on my own. Thank you so much. <laughs> Come on, Fina. You don't have to thank us. Uh -huh. Yeah, if it wasn't for you, I don't think we would have gotten ever gotten the chance to sail around the world. We should be thanking you. <laughs> Fina, I don't know if you realize it yet, but your mission has helped us all, and we've all grown to be such good friends. <laughs> yes, thank you. I mean, you're welcome. Until recently, I lived a sheltered life. I was scared when the elders asked me to search for the crystals, and I was alone. Since then, I've made some great friends, and I get excited when we explore new lands, even the ones with monsters. Yeah, when you first heard what we did for a living, you seemed really surprised, almost intimidated. You're sounding more like an air pirate every day. Before you know it, you'll be dressing like us. Your pupil will be wearing an eye patch. Oh lord. That would be goofy. Hey, that reminds me. Do you know where we should go next? Next, uh, go to get the next moon crystal? Uh -huh. Yes, I do. To the far south lies a land that basks in the cold light of the purple moon. It is known as the Land of Ice. The purple moon crystal should be hidden there. Land of Ice? The purple moon is the source of power for all magic. For all ice magic. <laughs> and because of that, the lands under the moon have become encased in ice. I've heard stories about that place. Some of the others back home used to tell me about the rumors they'd hear. Oh, great. I heard that the air is so cold that anyone who goes there will be frozen solid in a matter of seconds. I don't want to have to chisel you out of the ice, Vice. Hey, nice rhyme. Where do you get these stories? First I was going to catch on fire, then people were going to eat us with sticks. So now I'm going to freeze? Getting the crystal is not going to be easy, but I think your overactive imagination is getting the best of you. What do you mean? Alright, fine. When you become a bicycle, don't come crying to me. I'm sure everything will be alright. I doubt it's that cold, Aka. Well, according to our Valuan archaeologist, beneath the layers of ice lies the ruins of an ancient city. The ruins have been undisturbed since the old world. Unfortunately, no one has ever been able to break through the ice. All we have been able to do is observe the ruins from the sky. So we really don't need to go there because it's impossible to get the crystal? Hmm. Well, I was thinking... Brabham said that the hull has been reinforced, right? If the hull is strong enough to break through the stone reefs, perhaps it's strong enough to break through the ice. That might work. We could bust through the ice with the Delphinus. If the Delphinus can get through the ice, then we can get the crystal. Yeah. And it looks like our next destination is to the south, to the lands of ice. Yes. Well, it looks like we've got a long journey ahead of us. I think we should take a rest and the rest of the day off and celebrate. 
I do love a celebration. Oh boy, okay, so we're going to the lands of ice. Ooh. Oh, sounds cold. <laughs> Okay, we wake up in our room. That's pretty cool. So I guess this is... All these four rooms are for us four? I don't know. Um, okay, so we're actually going to head back up there because... Now that we're not going to a meeting, uh, Domingo should be in there. And he's going to give us stuff for how many discoveries we have. Which is pretty cool. It's like double dipping on the rewards for getting discoveries. Hello, Domingo. Hey, Vice. How's it going? Still trying to explore as much of the world as you can, I see. Well then, let me check out your discovery log. Ah, you've made 59 discoveries. That's the spirit. Finding someone with the discovery log as full as yours would be a discovery in itself. Like I promised, here's a little something I put together for you. Bronze seed, isle seed, zile seed, and silph seed. Sweet! Once you make 64 discoveries, I'll give you another present. Okay. Let me guess, another seed? <laughs> so yeah, let's use those. Quick, we will put on... I don't know, Fina? Yeah. Uh, Will... Aka. Vigor, which is... I Okay, I looked it up, and I think Vigor is defense and magic defense. Or one or the other. I don't really know. <laughs> Might as well give that to Fina, because she needs to live more than anyone else. Um... And power. Vice. Oh, two champs, okay. Boink, boink. Right, those are the ones we just got. Duh. So look how cool this meeting room is. It's like so much better looking than anything else. Look at this huge painting. Holy moly. Now that's a big painting. Enrique said that his mother had this painted for him when they started building the Delphinus. Wait, this was Enrique's painting? How the heck did it get here? Okay. Here's a model ship model of the Delphinus, I guess. Uh, I don't know. It looks a little different, actually. It's not the same shape in the front. But it looks very similar. It's a model of the Delphinus that Brabham made, based on some designs he found on board. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so there's a lot of cool stuff in here. <laughs> yeah, I think you can open the shade, too. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, Tika Tika! Bye bye, Tika Tika. <laughs> I want him. Sp he's just peeking in with his crazy eyes, man. All right, so that's pretty much all we can do, I believe. I think. <laughs> uh, I do want to talk to Brabham again, just to. Or Ismail. Oh, there he is. <laughs> well, I'm pretty happy with the base, but I could, but I think I could fix it up a little bit if I had more money. What do you say? You want me to remodel some of the buildings? Sure. Which building do you want remodeled? Okay. So we already have uh, Kerala doing Khalifa's tent. So let's have him upgrade the tavern, I guess. So you want to remodel the tavern? It's going to cost you 1,500 gold to do that. Are you sure you want to go through with it? Yep. Okay, leave it to me. I'll take care of everything by the time you return to the island. Okay, so I think we could actually just leave and come back and it would be done. So, I don't know. We'll just, we'll see it the next time we come back, I guess. It's pretty cool though, I mean, you can upgrade your island with enough money, you can just have every building upgraded. And I like how I threw this pole in for quick descent. <laughs> just like in my papa's base! Hey, Brabham. 
I've reinforced the armor of the about of the ship. You'll be able to fly through glaciers like they're nothing. You'll be able to fly through the stone reefs in Ixataka too. Hey, I'm good. <laughs> you guys, awesome. All right. Well. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh man. Ugh. I don't know how long this episode's been. <laughs> Let's just get on our ship. Might as well do so. Okay. So, uh, we are supposed to go to the Lands of Ice. Um, but there's actually something I want to take care of in Nasrad before we do that. But I'm actually going to save that for next time, I think. Hopefully this has been a pretty good episode. I forgot when I started it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys next time when we start journeying once again. <laughs>